Jupiter Media presents Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Dish Nation Bangladesh Television. So we are trying to explore the study options and opportunities inside Bangladesh to provide you the full information about Bangladesh medical education system and Gazi Medical College and Hospital. We have very special guest from college side who is none other than Dr. Ghazi Minjur Rahman. He is looking after the college and to provide you the full information about study opportunities from Nepal. We have a special guest from Nepal who is none other than engineer uh, Sudip Naik. He is looking after wide range consultants in Nepal. Uh, he is uh, the managing director of WRC Nepal. So let's welcome them to the show. Uh, Dr. Ghazi, you are welcome on our show. Uh, thank you. I am delighted and happy that we are connected together uh, through uh, Zoom platform. And this is uh, my opportunity to speak out uh, about the medical education, uh, what is uh, that is improving day by day in Bangladesh. And also, uh, this is a good destination for medical education uh, for Indian and uh, Nepal and other Sar countries students. Okay, Dr. Ghazi, uh, thank you so much. And, so, uh, uh, I would like to welcome uh, engineer uh, Sudip Naik on this television. So, Sudip sir, you are welcome on our show. Thank you, sir, for giving us an opportunity to be in a such a delegate, sir, here. So, I'm happy to share all my thoughts, which we'll be going to speak on a later. Okay. Thank you, sir. Dr. Gazi, let's have a talk about yourself, your involvement in academia at first. Thank you. I started my uh, medical profession in uh, 1983 when I became graduate. And uh, I involved myself with my private practice. As, and um, I established a small clinic in 1988 here in Kulna city. Uh, this city is southwestern part of Bangladesh. And gradually, I converted my small clinic into a big hospital uh, in 2000. And um, I then uh, in 2011, I uh, established a 500 bed hospital here. And then uh, uh, we uh, got the permission from the government and ministry, and also from uh, Bangladesh Medical and Dental Council to uh, establish a medical college. So the name of our medical college is Gazi Medical College. Since then, uh, 2011, we um, hear many students from Bangladesh, India, and Nepal, uh, we uh, study here. And okay. we offer. We will talk about the quality of education inside the Ghazi Medical College. So uh, I will give the chance to Sudip sir to speak something about his involvement in um, uh, education sector. He has um, uh, served more than like thousands of students to pursue their higher education in uh, India, Bangladesh, and okay, thank you. Well. Yeah, thank so, you. Sudip sir, would you please uh, tell us something about your involvement in counseling sector? So, thank you uh, once again. From last 2007, it's a 17 years we are in this industry. Many students, they have graduated from Bangladesh. And uh, I'm happy to say it, last year also a few students went to Gajin Medical College and the feedback which we are getting that us more uh, uh, enthusiastic to send more students to Gaji Medical College and I requested Gaji sir to come today for uh, the television so so that it can be spread to millions of people and they can listen and they can know about Gaji Medical College. Thank you sir. So Dr. Gazi, talking about the quality of education inside the Gazi Medical College, what type of the practical exposure and international education standard is uh, mitigated by the uh, Gazi Medical College here in Bangladesh? Standard course curriculum adapted by uh, Bangladesh Medical and Dental Council in teaching methods. Uh, and 
recruitment of students take place uh, through M card missions and all professional examinations, library and more than 10,000 textbooks, latest editions, uh, references, uh, subjects, magazines, and newspapers. Uh, the library provides uh, updated information also for students and teachers. Uh, and uh, we have a reading room. Uh, they can accommodate more than three, 300 students at a time. Uh, and students and teachers can also borrow textbooks for use uh, at home and hostels. And we have uh, Wi-Fi internet connection in library and also uh, in hostels. So that, so that students uh, can download recent scientific uh, materials. The library uh, remains open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, and there are also scope to have photocopies and all other learning facilities uh, available in the library. And uh, we have a great number of equi well equipped labs, practical uh, tutorial classes, uh, uh, we have also facilities of group study uh, and um, computer lab. Uh, our lab has been set up through lectures, station, tutorials, ward, clinics, clinical practice, and um, and uh, field visits also. And teacher teaching uh, such as uh, overhead projectors. Uh, slide projectors, multimedia projectors, television with VCR and video cassettes, computers, uh, CDs, and other uh, other teaching uh, methods of students. That, uh, you know, uh, during uh, COVID era, uh, we continued uh, taking class through Zoom platform and uh, other online platform. Dr. Gazi. We'll talk about the um, uh, special caring for international students uh, later. So let's have a talk um, about the uh, scholarship schemes uh, and the other facilities for uh, Nepalese students there in Bangladesh. Sudip sir, how would you say that Bangladesh is the best study destinations for MBBS, BDS for Nepalese students? So coming. Uh to why Nepali students should choose Bangladesh as a ideal destination. For a parents, for any parents, it is important for their child's safety. So Bangladesh is one among the safest place for a Nepali student, number one. Second, the climatical condition. You see, we have same kind of climate conditions what Bangladesh follows. Third one, the kind of food what we eat is a common what we are eating in bangladesh many times we feel same kind of things whatever the food system the food system is common so the diseases are also common the trade name of medicine which we find many medicines we are getting from bangladesh also in our uh, uh, farmer uh, shops and all so these are the things which a doctor need see the language varied is not there we can easily speak or understand bangla and um, that is a very adaptable and the kind of disease also that is a common one. Thank you, Sudip sir. Uh, Dr. Ghazi, talking about the uh, like accommodation, student service and the cultural integration, how does your institute support international students in terms of accommodation, student service and cultural integration? We have separate hostel facilities for boys and girls uh, available in the college campus. Uh, we also receive the foreign students from border or from airport uh, when the students arrive in Bangladesh uh, by road or by air. And uh, the reception and orientation uh, program, especially the foreign students held in every year at the beginning of the session, where students no. and guardians, if pr uh, present, they can participate in the College authority. And we have uh, an international standard chef recruited from India. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Sudipji already told that the uh, food, uh, food uh, culture is uh, almost similar uh, to uh, similar in Bangladesh, Nepal, and India. So we, uh, uh, we have Indian chef 
and uh, who can prepare both vegetarian and non-vegetarian foods uh, for the students uh, of uh, all this uh, students regarding their security, health, uh, uh, staying in a hostel uh, and um, uh, learning Bangla language, uh, of course, and the hostel uh, complex is under CCTV surveillance. So we, uh, uh, in education, uh, every student is uh, tagged by, with a, with a lecturer or, or a teacher. So if uh, any student is uh, not coming to class, this is uh, monitored. So mentor mentorship is a very nice, uh, nice uh, policy. Uh, this is very uh, fruitful also. And uh, like to uh, uh, say that uh, they are very serious in their education. Dr. Ghazi, talking about the Nepalese students' progress there, you are the local guardians of uh, international students there and looking after them, caring to them. So how do you feel the progress of Nepalese students rather than other like uh, international students? I've already told that uh, Nepalese students are very serious in their education. Uh, and uh, they're doing very good in uh, regular and professional examinations. And we had a lot of uh, Nepali students uh, passed from our uh, college and uh, went back to Nepal and they have all qualified Nepal Medical Council examination. And few of them uh, also got admitted into post-graduation uh, courses. And you know, a uh, few uh, of uh, them also uh, past MRCS, PLAV, uh, and also USMLE. So this is the indicator that we are uh, providing a good uh, and uh, quality education and our students uh, compete the international standard. Sudip sir, talking about the institutions in Bangladesh, what type of the institution would you choose so that it will be easy to like uh, uh, go ahead the professional horizon for individual students. As we uh, mentioned that what happened, we have a certain set of a standard in Nepal. So first we see whether the college is WHO recognized or not. Second, the parameter is NMC listed or not, because at the end of the day, they have to come here, sit for the license exam. And only such an institution, they are allowed to go, which are listed. Third one, we see who is a academician who has established like a Gaji Medical College we are mentioning. As sir is there. We see the parameter of how long it has been established, how many students has passed, what is the OPD ratio of patient they are traveling there. So this is a very common things which we are going to see for any medical college which we recommend. Because as you know, this is not a just one day. Dr. Ghazi, we have already talked about the study options and opportunities in Bangladesh and talking about the personal caring to international students. Let's have a talk about the extracurricular activities which will strengthen to individual students during their study period. Uh, every year, there is uh, annual sports, indoor and outdoor also. And uh, we always organize cultural programs where foreign students participate and they are uh, performing uh, their uh, items of their own countries, dance or they sing songs and they also perform other uh, activities there. And we uh, be club, Tibet club, and uh, our college is one of the best college uh, that our students got the highest prizes in different debating society, uh, not only among the medical colleges in Bangladesh, but also with other uh, universities. So uh, 
this is very nice, uh, nice, uh, nicely organized. And uh, you know, I am also a, a social worker. I am also a singer. In uh, I sing uh, a lot of a lot of songs uh, you can find in the YouTube. Right. So I always, uh, <laughs> I always uh, give them uh, opportunities to uh, do their best and uh, participate in different uh, cultural programs. So talking about the like um, uh, wide horizon of the institutions, what type of the collaborations has been done with other university, colleges, national and international institutions? to uh, deliver the global standard education? Uh, we have only checked with government medical colleges uh, to share and um, uh, to uh, take advices and uh, work together, actually. So uh, here in Kulna, there is one uh, public medical college, government-owned. Uh, we are checked with them. And we uh, used to exchange our students to uh, Khulna Medical College. And also from Khulna Medical College, students uh, come to our uh, college. So uh, overseas, we don't have any ties with other overseas colleges or universities right now. Dr. Ghazi, what is your final message to the prospective students and parents, those who are trying to get the best institution in Bangladesh? We uh, Assure them best quality education, security, to um, welcome them and uh, to treat with them like a guardian here in uh, Bangladesh uh, during their staying here. And uh, uh, of course, uh, they will feel here that uh, as they are staying in their own uh, city or own uh, house. So I uh, always ask and request their guardian that don't worry about your children if you send them to Gaji Medical College. We will take all the measurement that needed uh, for them to make them a good doctor and a good citizen. Uh, so uh, this is my message to the students and to their guardians. Okay. Sudip, sir, so what is your final message regarding to join the best medical college in Bangladesh? Those parents who want to admit their what to any institution, either in Bangladesh or any country, I'd like to request them to see the quality of education which they are imparting, the safety concern, the recognition, and the more important, what they have to see, that what is a passing ratio, how many students have passed and how many students got the NMC license. This is a very important parameter because many students, they go to abroad, they come back to Nepal and even they are struggling to pass NMC license. And that is a final iron gate or whatever we call, that is a final destination. Without license, they are not eligible to practice here. So please do go for such an institution where they will not face kind, such kind of thing. And Gaji is one among such a college where the student, they can go blindly and they can see the infrastructure, they can see the environment. Sir, Gaji sir himself is there, which he has mentioned. Full time he is there. It's not that he has established a college, he's engaged in different parts. His everything is totally he is devoted to the campus and the hospital. So full time guardianship is there. So I'd like to request all the parents, please do visit the website or they can visit us. They can uh Whenever they feel comfortable, we can arrange your parents meet along with Gandhi yeah. if sir allows his time in the next, after a couple of days when the results are announced, the prospective parents and the student, we can again organize one kind of meeting like this. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, Sudip, sir. It's really great pleasure that 
Dr. Ghazi uh, Menzur Rahman explored the study opportunities about study in Bangladesh and um, uh, engineer Sudip Nai talked about the uh, like uh, what type of the you know, options and opportunities are there and how student and parents have to grab the opportunities to explore their medical um, uh, studies in Bangladesh. So uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, Gaji and engineer Mr. Sudip Nai for your wonderful uh, time and thoughts. So uh, once again, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you and goodbye. Have a nice day and nice time. Thank you Thank so you, much.